Now we're going to look at 2D shapes. We've looked at primitives. Now we're going to look at 2D shapes. Again, they give us basic primitives. You can click on a rectangle at the bottom. Notice how you get given a length and width. You can type that in yourself. Press tab and then 15 and you can create the rectangle of your choice. I can do the same thing with my circle. At the bottom you see here, it asks for a radius. You type in a radius and you press enter. Ellipse. It asks you for a major axis. So that's the length of it. And then the opposite axis. You press enter. So it's really simple. Um, and lastly, with your polygons, we'll ask you what's the radius for the polygon and how many sides. So you can create a hexagon, octagon, um, depending on the number of sides. Um, at the same time, I'm going to take the opportunity to look at our sketch feature. Um, if we scroll down to the bottom, notice how it's different to the basic shapes that are given to us here on the primitives because when you click on um, one of these shapes it actually forces you to manu manually pull and draw your circle so essentially you can click on your uh, center point and then drag outwards or you can type in the diameter in this case 50 press enter I'll do a, a rectangle Notice that in this case we don't get any, no pop-up uh, window appears at the bottom. I have to click on my uh, grid. It says specify the corner of the rectangle. And then you can just drag outwards. Um, right now I've got the 35 which is the width highlighted. I can type in a value there, say 40. And then I press tab. Now that is locked. The 40 will not move. And then now it's a matter of inputting our length. So we'll type in 70, enter. So there's different ways that you can do your, your shapes. You can either use your primitive shapes, 2D shapes, or you can do your sketch shapes. Um, so then you're asking yourself, what do we do with that? One of the things about, I love about Autodesk is that you can click on a shape and you notice that this kind of, um, gear wheel appears and when you hover over it it's, it tells you all the number of things you can do with this 2D shape you can move it, you can scale it, you can extrude, sweep and do all sorts of things but in this case we just want to extrude and that means that you are adding three dimensions to it you can set a value to that, 10 so again I'll show you on the octagon you click on that, click on the gear move to extrude you can manually pull it upwards or downwards or you can enter a value here according to the distance that you want your shape to be extruded so have a go do that for yourself draw yourself a couple of basic primitive um, 2d shapes click on them then go click on the gear icon then click on extrude and then pull it up or down See how you go.